It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Washington Commanders and the Atlanta Falcons. And it's coming up next. First opened in 2017, there's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Brandon Gordon joined in the booth by Charles Davis. That's CD. These Falcons seem to be in an interesting spot coming into 2023. They've seemingly got playmakers galore on offense, but they may only be as good as what their defense can do for them. And that defense, 27th overall in the league last year, so they must improve. In order to help them, though, they're going to try and control the ball more on the offensive side, try and run it a little bit more and take some time off the clock. Meanwhile, for the Commanders, this is a team that many think could be the fourth best in the NFC East, but they've got a pretty strong defense that's going to probably keep them in some ball games. Their investment in talent has certainly paid off. Number four against the pass a season ago. Number four overall in total defense. Nothing to shake a stick at. If they get good quarterback play, look out. The veteran punter Bradley Pinion has this one teed up, and we are underway from Atlanta. Taken at the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The commander's set to go to work on offense, and they've handed the controls to this man in his second NFL season, former Tar Heel Sam Howell. Hal got the nod from Commander's leadership to be the team's starter this year. A nice bump for last year's fifth-round pick. One start as a rookie. It didn't look bad at all winning the team's finale. And let's not forget, this is a guy who was once viewed as a first-round pick. So there's plenty of promise hidden beneath the surface. Hal, first play, going to throw it. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Second and 10, Howell. Pass incomplete. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. Crowd getting in it a bit already. Here's an early third and ten. How from the gun. Able to shake him off, but he can't get away forever, and down he goes. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. The defensively really can't script the start much better. You get a three and out and a sack. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. They kept him short of a first down on first and second down. And then on third down, they pick up a sack. What tremendous momentum for them to start this game. Matress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. He'll take it at the 42. 43 yards on the punt, seven yard return, and the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. The Falcons ready to go to work here on offense, and at the helm in his second season, Charles, it's Desmond Ritter. The Falcons got their feet wet with Ritter during a four game audition last season, and he did end their year with a pair of wins. Optimism reigns that he is their quarterback of the future. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. 
Now the first running back taken back in April, the former Longhorn, B. John Robinson. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That's a nice job there, foiling what all offenses try to do, which is control the defensive end in the running game. They want to get to the outside, and if he keeps himself free, stays on his feet, he can make a play just as he did there. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line, 42. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. So third and two, this quite possibly four-down territory, though, if they're stopped. The Ritter back to throw. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. The Ritter and London team up there. First down, Atlanta. I like the call on third and two. They were geared up to stop the run. I like the fact they just hit him quick. A little slant route. All about timing there, partner. Yeah, the timing, everything well executed. So first and ten now from the 30. Robinson, he'll try the left side to the 27-yard line. They'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Ritter now. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. Ritter throwing on third down. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. On fourth down, Bradley Pinion on to punt for the Falcons. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach. Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? First down, how to throw. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. At the 29-yard line. Second and a couple. Little bootleg here, Howell. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll run with Gibson. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. I'll bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call, and they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here <laughs> and maybe want to go pick it up. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner, Tress Way, on to punt the football. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. 
It's taken to the 26. Call it an even 40-yard punt. 7-0 on the return. And it will be Falcon football. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll start by running the option to the right. And it'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, They'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Ritter once again on the keeper. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. On first and ten, it's Robinson. He'll take this to the 46. From the 46, here's the second down and six. They'll run again here with Robinson. And the stop here will come at the 48-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. Now second and three. They'll run this one right with Robinson. They'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 17 yards and a first down for Atlanta. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive is a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Ritter will set up to throw it. And he will find his man on the end round. Complete. And that's good for a gain of six. And it'll be second down. Bootlegging out here. Ritter toward the end zone. But that's going to wind up incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Looking to throw it here, Ritter. Looking there for Pitts, but intercepted. Picked off by Benjamin St. Juiced. And the Commanders are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. Partner, there's no other way you could describe it because that was absolutely just gut-wrenching for that offense. They were right on the precipice. Points were available. All they had to do was just fall forward, and they were going to put them up on the board. Instead, a long drive ends in heartbreak and a melancholy trip back to the drawing board. How you like it when I go a little bit lyrical for you?
Here's Gibson. He's, and oh, he cuts up the football near his own goal line. And the defense has got it. Oh, a nightmare start offensively. This will be a touchdown. That's something you have to be wary of on your side of the field, that close to the goal line. The defense, they are looking for that football. They got it. They score. You are so right, and the quarterback has to speed things up himself. So close to the goal line, they're going to get after you. Make sure you get rid of the football and in a safe place. Extra point attempt to come here. It's good, and that gives the Falcons a 7 to nothing lead. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for 6. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Here comes Antonio Gibson as he's set for another drive. He's probably a little angry at himself. It was his fumble, obviously, a moment ago that led to the scoop and score touchdown that has him down early. And now we find out about the psychology aspect of being a coach. Because when you have a guy who's, that's just happened, some people want to take him out of the game immediately. Others say, you know something? Let's feed him the ball again next series and see if he's going to be able to atone for it. Let's see what they decide to do. They'll start on the ground. And he loses the football a second time. Oh, one of the linemen on the other side has got it. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right. A lost opportunity. Now so complete there to Thomas. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. On third down, here's Gibson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told him, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. Jesse Bates made the tackle from his safety spot. That's a nice run to get himself back on the horse after his fumble. Nothing spectacular, but a good confidence-building run. Here's a second and five. Now how? Dancing to his left. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. On first and ten, it's Gibson. And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. This time they'll throw it with Hal. This one left side caught by Gibson. 
And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Now he'll look to throw it. He's got it. Caught down. And the Falcons grab it. There he goes right side. He's into space past the 25. And this is going to be brought back. It's a scoop and score for the Falcon TD. Now Young Way Koo for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And able to get this out to the 25. The commander's offense set to take over. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Back to throw, Howell. Quick slant, Dodson. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the 34 yard line. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Washington with a football here to begin quarter number two. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here. second and a yard from the 34. On the counter, Gibson. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. They give him 16 yards there, and it's a Washington first down. Give every member of that unit a ton of credit for ripping off such a big gain there because you don't get free for that many yards on a counter or misdirection without everybody selling the heck out of it. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Faking the handoff. Howell. He's got the hookup downfield to Samuel. Call that a very strong gain of 24. And this offense has been a little slow to get going, but some signs of life here in this second quarter. They're moving it pretty good. And that helps the cause as well. Good yardage and another first down. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Straight ahead, Gibson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, 
makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. They'll go play action. Howell under a heavy rush, and down he goes. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. And this offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot, and here another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. And this offense on third down today, they've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 14. Howell out of the shotgun. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. The third down battle won by Atlanta's defense. Solid coverage. The storm them has got a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. And especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. Sly able to put this one through. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to three. So not exactly the response they were hoping for, but they'll take the three to at least get them on the score sheet. Yeah, now is not the time to panic. All is well, somewhat calm, only down 14 to nothing. So continue to play your game, take the points when they're there, and put the emphasis on your defense to go out and get you the football back. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. B. John Robinson leading the offense out for another drive. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Ritter and the Falcons now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Ritter. side here and that's complete and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line 18 yards the game for number 18 Ritter on first and 10 open man is Kyle Pitts is tight end and he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. We always hear from coaches how much they like to run crossing routes because they want to hit their receivers on the go, get them the ball, and keep them moving. How about when you hit a tight end that way? Okay, the receivers are going to run past you most of the time. The tight end, they could do their damage a different way, break a few tackles and really scatter some people, don't they? And yeah, he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense, because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Again, it's Robinson. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Thank you. 
Robinson will try to pick it up. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. And partner, when you run the ball on third and two, you're telling the whole world you've got nothing but confidence in your offensive line and your runner, and you expect to get it. But they were stuffed on that play, only got one yard. Great job by the defensive front, the linebackers. Everyone got involved to force a fourth down. A 47-yard attempt. Kuhn knocks this one through the post. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. to three. So they're content to take the three. Somewhat of a conservative call there, opting not to go for it on fourth and inches. And that's from a team that you and I know is not usually playing it close to the best. It's a little bit of a surprise, and they opted for the three instead of going for it. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. And Washington going to come back out here to take over offensively. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> they weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> and oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. And one of the linebackers has got it. And it's a tremendous return as they finally get him at about the 10-yard line. And now, meanwhile, after the dust settles on the fumble, we've got an injured player here as well. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Robinson up the middle. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Now second and nine. Here's Ritter. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. So the completion good for just three. And it brings up third and five now. Ritter to throw it. And it's caught. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here. <laughs> you would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. Kuhn knocks this one to the post, and that will extend their lead even further. So the fumble recovery had not set up an ideal field position, but they can muster only three points out of it. Yeah, when you're able to force turnovers, especially when it results in field position like they had, you really want to make it hurt. Here, they take the field goal. That's definitely not what they were hoping for. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. Here's Antonio Gibson, fielded just outside the goal line. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Washington. I know a lot 
of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Joey Sly on for the extra point. It's up. It's good. That'll make the score line 20 to 10. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most, exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. First down, here's Ritter. Wide open receiver complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Patterson, he'll try it up the middle. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. Even at 32 years old, Patterson is someone who can turn any touch into a home run. Jack of all trades, master of all. He even improved upon his career best numbers from 2021. On first down, going back to Patterson. He'll get it to the 40. Broke a tackle there to get some extra yardage. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Hand off now to Robinson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain that time, as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. Complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. Well, dialing up that play call certainly meant that he grabbed a little extra shot of courage on that one because normally on third and short, you're just trying to move the sticks, get the ball just past that line of scrimmage. Instead, they take the big shot downfield, and it pays off. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Out of the gun, here's Ritter. Over the middle, caught by London. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Ritter with it after the play fake. And he is going to go down. 
back at the 11-yard line. A big win there defensively on second and goal, a loss of seven, and it brings up third. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. Third and goal, Ritter with it. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So on fourth down, Ritter heads to the sideline. Young Way Koo gets set for the Atlanta field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Koo knocks this one through the post. And that will extend their lead even further. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points due to his leg. Hunter Pinion now to kick this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Commanders back out late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Howell from the gun. This to McLaurin out on the left side. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Hal. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was red and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. Here's second and 10. Out of the gun, it's Howell. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. And once more, Howell back to the air. That one is slant to McLaurin. It gets by him, and now a little daylight. He's still on his feet. Terry McLaurin. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin in the final seconds of the first half. And the Commanders are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Terrific. Touchdown. I know we've got a game now. Yeah, I think anytime you go into the second half down just one or two scores, you feel not where you want to be, but in a pretty good spot. And I think for most teams, when they go into the half in this situation, it's not a lot of adjusting going on. It's much more, all right, guys, let's just play a little bit better than we did in the first half. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and the lead will shrink to six. time for one play on offense seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away 
And out a little across the 25 to the 27. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we are at halftime here in Atlanta with the Falcons out in front. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you'd have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The Falcons offense ready to get going to begin this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball. And I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Second half begins with a run by Robinson. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. How about Jonathan Allen there pushing up field to make the stop behind the line? I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Ritter will set up to throw it. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And Ritter back to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion and, more importantly, force a quick punting situation. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fair catch single four and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Commanders will take over with a first and ten. There's Terry McLaurin, such an exciting pass catcher as this offense comes out for their next drive. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, you do. You get, you, hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. A nice chunk play from the tight end position, and it illustrates the cohesiveness that he and his quarterback have. Both saw the extra defender doubling him up, and they still combined for the completion and big gain. 
A give up the middle to Gibson. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. I think what we just saw their partner was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. On second down, here's Gibson again. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Brandon, you're a big lover of music. How about what you just saw there? This is what I call playing the piano for a defensive lineman. The ability to move laterally up and down the line of scrimmage. How about the way he just flowed and got to the outside part of the field and made that play? Howell throwing on third down here. Being chased out left. And he'll even avoid the contact in the end as he will finally slide to a hole. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots. And right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. This time they'll throw it with Hal. That one caught by the tight end Bates. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven at the Falcons 22 yard line. Al now to throw it. Complete, it's Dodson. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now Hal. Throw right side, taken in by Gibson. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Second and ten. Throwing here, Howell. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need ten yards out of it on third. Back to throw. Howell. He's got it. Touchdown, Commanders. Curtis Samuel. From 10 yards out, and the Commanders have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. Well, they were down six at intermission, but they quickly erased that deficit, and Charles, now they've got a chance to take the lead. And while being down six points, obviously not an insurmountable lead. Tying a game up, that just relaxes a whole team, doesn't it? And now when you add the extra point and you go up, you really feel good about what you've accomplished. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that will put them on top here in the third. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And Patterson not going to return this. It'll come out to the 25. The Falcons ready to take over. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going.
Falcons first and 10 here as Ritter gets them ready at their 25-yard line. He'll get it to Robinson to begin the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. On play action, here's Ritter. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. That one covers 29 yards, first down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay inbounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. Ball on the 39. Here's the second and four. Back to throw. Ritter. Into the hands of London. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That'll put him at 66 receiving yards now for the game. And he's got a first down. And the hitch route has run really well. That jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space. All you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. But not many guys who can blow up plays like Chase Young. He did it again there. Make it now three tackles for a loss in this game, one for each quarter. And for a guy who played defense in college, I can just tell you that he's feeling very satisfied right now by what he's doing but he's elated because he knows what he's doing is helping his team win the game right now. Making some big time plays, getting into the offensive backfield and spilling everything. And they've got it inside the 10 at the eight. Third catch for him on this drive alone and it'll give him the first down. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. They'll run with Robinson. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. But that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Again, it'll be Robinson. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. Montez Sweat in good form there as he sacks another quarterback. And he's in good form in 2022 as well. Put up eight sacks coming off of an injury-shortened campaign the year prior. So on fourth down, Ritter heads to the sideline. Young Way Koo gets set for the Atlanta field goal. This will be, let's see, 38 yards out. Koo knocks this one through the post, and they have regained the lead. So a response there to the touchdown, the opening drive of this third quarter, as they're able to reclaim the lead. And I think you'll take that, because obviously you'd like to be able to match them touchdown for touchdown, but the first order of business was to get the lead back, and they've done that. Now you want to give a good pep talk to your defense to take it from there.
The punter pinion now to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And the Washington offense heading out. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. A handoff for Gibson. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. Second down, Hal now. This one left side caught by Gibson. Only able to gain a couple there. Third and seven now. And Hal will throw it. Steps away to his left. Oh, Hal loses it. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. Fortunately for him, that ball stayed close so that he could recover it on his own. And you know the prayers that were going through his head as the ball escaped from him? <laughs> How happy was he at the end of it when he found the football again, able to retain possession? Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. The Rivers throw complete there to Smith. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. First target, first catch, and a first down. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. The first down run, not going to get him a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there. So that'll bring up second and nine. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta. Here now, second and nine from the 39-yard line. Ritter headed right off the option. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, 
I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. Ritter. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the Brave. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he's on to punt for Atlanta. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. On second down, here's Gibson again. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Gives him with the solid pickup there, and the commanders love using his ability in a variety of roles. Led the team with almost 1,400 all-purpose yards in 2022. He can run it and catch it out of the backfield. Gibson again. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. From the 34-yard line, here's a second and seven. Now he'll look to throw it. Well, it took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Powell. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Gibson. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up fourth down. A short gain that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Ritter and the Falcons now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They start on the ground with Robinson here. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Good gain there on first down. It keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. Now that's a nice play. <laughs> Got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations when you have to get the ball back, Everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking up the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, 
whatever way they have to get the ball back. Now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop? So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. 37 yards on the punt with no return, and they will take over first and 10. And the Washington offense going back to work. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll go play action. Howell. Incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. 64 yards rushing for him now to this point. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. There's Tressway now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Falcons first and 10 here as Ritter gets him ready at the 20. That's out quickly to London. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Robinson toss play left side. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Option left, and Ritter keeps it. Now, loose football. The ball comes out, and it's Washington that scoops it up. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. So holding on the offense, they go ahead and decline the penalty, and the ball will change hands on the fumble recovery. On 
on first down. Hell. Thomas brings it in. Touchdown, Washington. Logan Thomas, 38 yards. And the Commanders have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. So from three scores down, these guys have fought all the way back to grab the lead. And I'll just tell people what happened when they went up three scores. I wrote on your paper two words, game over, and now I'm eating those words. I, I was wrong. <laughs> a little salt, a little pepper yeah, goes hey, down pretty easily. I will admit when I make a mistake. Well, it looked like it was going that way. This is one of those paging Frank Reich moments, and I can't believe I just brought that up because Frank Reich at Maryland in college did it to my Tennessee Volunteers, oh. and I was a big reason why my team lost. Sounds like he still harbors some pain from that game. You know, we, we still got a little time to work it out with the doctor. <laughs> Joey, Joey Sly, Sly now to kick off, off after the touchdown. Right. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Ritter and the Falcons now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throw left side, there's London. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. When you call a wide receiver screen, no matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball, there's still an aspect of the guy catching it, turning into a runner, breaking tackles and creating his own yardage, and he just did on that play. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Out of the gun, a run with Patterson. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Ritter on first and ten. Escaping the pressure right. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. On first down, Ritter. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the Commander's 41 Out of the gun, here's Ritter. And caught by London. three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Ritter to throw it. Throwing over the middle and it's incomplete. Another try. Second and ten now. Ritter now. And this pass is caught by London. Touchdown, Falcons! Drake London, 35 yards. And the Falcons answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead.
So now an extra point doesn't help much. They'll try to go for two to make the difference a field goal, and they can lead it by three. Back to throw. Ritter. And no, incomplete. They can't convert. So they tried to bump the lead up to a field goal. Instead, it stays at one here in the fourth. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. This is Gibson. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here we go now with Hal and the Commanders. Down by one. A minute 52 to play. And they need at least 30 yards, you'd have to think, here to move the football to have a shot. throw flushed out right and he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole his running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far for once though he doesn't create any magic against the front that's prepared for him to try and take off second down eight yards to go here's Howell Slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. He's back to throw. Gets this to Gibson, and he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Inside of a minute to go now, two timeouts left, still in pretty good shape. I think they're in excellent shape here if they use the timeouts judiciously and use the sideline as an additional timeout. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. This is first and ten. Back to throw. He gets it to Thomas. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. We can't be totally sure that that was by design, but we do know that a lot of kickers like the ball in the right hash in order to kick the field goal. And now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to almost certainly win the football game. 
The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to take the lead here in the final minute. Sly able to put this one through. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. So they tried to ice him there, but it's fair to say it did not have the intended effect. And I've known kickers that take it as an affront. And there he says, you think you're going to rattle me? Think again. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. They'll come up first and ten here. Ritter. All the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. A costly sack. They'll have to use a timeout here. And barring a defensive penalty, they'll be looking at one final play. A final shot now for Ritter. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. Till next time, we say so long from Atlanta.